my name is Raptor, and welcome back to Slice and Dice. We're going to go into Unfair Alternate. All heroes are leveled up, all leveled down versions of existing heroes. Oh, defensive is apparently a rare setup. Let's give that a go then. We'll have two red characters, two gray characters, and a yellow character. So we'll be lacking blue and orange. But I think it'll be worth it. So, we're tempted yet again with two fewer rerolls for a total of 10 points. That would immediately resolve this for us. A mm. couple of our characters, like, um, Fa, Fai, Fai. Because, so one is A, uh, two is U, three is E, A. Uh. So far. Dried. Monk. Hey! Monk still keeps the same name. Stalwart. And Collector. Uh. Ka. Elector. Got it. Uh, we could do that. You're a generous. Adds generous to all sides. I cannot target myself. Neat. There's also h.bot2.level up. Level up the bottom two heroes by one, so they would just start leveled up. Death shield. Upon death, shields one to all enemies, and burst. No copy of burst. Honestly, I'm fine with no copy of burst. Burst is damage for us, for the very rare instances I'm capable of generating it. I think I'm fine. Let's go with this. No rerolls, but I get two immediate levels up. Oh my god, those levels up, unfortunately, become default. So Bard and Soldier. No funny names for them. Revive the top most defeated ally. Else is capable of shielding and cleansing by one, so I can prevent the soldier from actually losing any of their spaces to the thorn here. One rat, one thorn. If I kill the rat, I might just be able to survive the thorn. As in, like... Yeah, I had enough health that the thorn ran away. Yay. Faint and Forsaken. Now, I've got to remember every single time I pick a character that I need to pick... Sorry. That is not how we say the names of these. Just to explain the rubric, just, just in case you did not happen to catch the first Generate episode. Uh, in Generate, there are alternate characters for each base character in the game that are higher or lower levels of them scaled up or down. So instead of Fate being level three, here we have Fate generated as a level two character. And when it's generated as a character outside of its own level, it takes the new number of its level and inserts it into the name, usually in place of the first syllable, uh, usually in place of the first vowel, but not always. So in order to pronounce those, I use the vowel that's associated with the letter. So one, uh, one, uh, uh, what, uh, what, uh, right? Two, oo, three, e. So here we have foot and the foo sagan. Foot has uh, a two damage weakened spell. It's pretty useful. Oh, but foo sagan has glow which when I can't re-roll having the ability to turn all my blank sides into heal and shield 2 this turn is very effective I think I have to take that up against two wolves and an archer I 
I'm also really glad to have the Bard because the Bard is giving us shield one cleanse, which is also very nice. Good way to utilize my X's. Here I take three damage this turn, otherwise nothing really happens. Ooh, much better turn for us here. We get to generate four full mana out of the Forsaken. Unfortunately, I don't believe I'm going to be capable of saving the uh, Monk. However, I will be capable of bringing you back. That's going to be worth something, right? Okay, so the Droid up at the top there should be fine. Yes, 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 yes. We'll just give you the additional defense. I don't want to have to use Glow this turn. Oh, no, I should have brought the, the Monk back. SL1 does that. For one mana, it brings back a character. Wait, I have reroll? I have reroll because the Bard hit gain reroll. Well done, buddy. You're absolutely champion, mate. You're a champion. Um... Let's hit some defense on the Forsaken. Uh, if the Forsaken is going to be dying this time, uh, it doesn't matter anyway. Unfortunately, I can't do anything with all of this additional mana at the moment. I can revive heroes, but all of my heroes are alive. I can also glow, but I don't have any X's to reroll. Let's bring someone back, and then we'll save the bot and the druid. Learn Poultice, or get the Hat of the Lazy. So this turns us into the lazy character, who has... One three damage side, one three shield side, and then blanks, blanks, blank, blank, blank. We can also learn Poultice in order to use one mana to heal two single cast. I think I'm going to be taking a random, hoping that I get something useful, and I do get something useful. Citrine Ring, plus one pip to the rightmost side. I will note, for generated characters, it is very rare that I see something on the rightmost side, so I expect the Citrine Ring actually not to be especially useful. Chest is going to run away at the end of this turn, has one stone armor at the top of its health, and then four health afterwards. I don't expect to be able to take it out, frankly. Uh, da, 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 da. A lot of you are targeting the bard. Unfortunately, I can't do enough damage to take that chest out. With Glow, I can definitely keep Forsaken alive. Forsaken, rather. Be on top is already dealing with itself for us. Love to see it. Let's give the bard a clear route to be able to give some armor to everyone this turn by cleansing their petrified side. Yeah, Burst would be really nice to have right now. Gotta admit. Alright, extra monster. We 
we'd have to find a bandit, but we would get Tincture as Cleanse to the rightmost side, Big Heart, replace the middle side with Heal 7, as well as Thrike. Three damage for a single three pip side. I do think Thrike would be nice, admittedly, but I also think that inviting a bandit into this fight is probably not gonna be great for us. It's pretty hard to get through this fight due to the single use being added to all sides, and we should be able to do it, but without being able to use bursts to clear the gap, I'm gonna have to roll reasonably. Ooh, do I want another Forsaken? Or do I want a uh, Stoolwart? Because a Stoolwart has Shield 3 Cleanse, as well as 5 damage exit, but only those two sides. The Forsaken, though, obviously has Heal 3 to all allies, Heal 1 to all allies, 4 mana pain and 1 mana pain. I'll be taking the Forsaken. So we have uh, 2 Forsaken. Work for us. I use a lot of sides there, but I do manage to do two damage to my enemies. So, who really came out on top? Them? Categorically, them. Oh, okay. Well, I should do something about that then. Let's glow so that I can save the Forsaken. Actually, I kind of want the Mook to keep the Cleanse sign just in case the enemy tries to poison us. I haven't got that much health to heal at the moment, so I'm going to only single use the Top Forsaken. Realistically, I just need the soldier to roll damage signs. That's the big thing here. That'd be like real handy. Thankfully, I can also use my blanks to cleanse off the uh, damage. Wand Regret, roll three single-used sides at once, and unlock the Wand of Wands, replace the middle side with one damage single-use, inflict single-use onto the enemy as well. Just in case anyone asks, I've got mana. Doesn't really make sense not to glow whenever I have mana. Not much else I can do with it at the moment. Soldier, please just roll some damage. Please just... The, you have to... In fact, literally, we have exactly enough damage to take out this final enemy, and that's it. But we don't have a single damage more than that. I need the soldier to roll those two sides. This is what I was talking... There, there is no way... You think I could afford a bandit like this? A bandit. How? With what army? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm gonna be here forever. I'm never getting out of this one. I'm gonna die here. They finally, oh, I was about to say they finally tried to give us poison. I forgot that they've tried to do it before, but it doesn't matter because I can't avoid that. How long have we been here, Forsaken? 
Oh, I finally got some damage, baby. We're on our way to the end game, Bramble. Are we stuck here forever? Everyone's questioning it now. I don't want us to be stuck here forever. I'm doing everything in my power to prevent that. Oh, I should have used else one more time. I forgot about it. What day is it? How long have we been here, they ask. Thank you, soldier! Gah! <laughs> like pulling teeth! Reroll the class of soldier. Yeah, get punished, nerd. You're a gladiator now. Ice cube adds stasis to the left side. This side cannot change or quicksilver. Keep unused shields. Keep unused shields on a monk. Seems good to me. Citrine ring is fulfilling its destiny of no longer being useful. Unless it's comboed with another item, in which case I can certainly see it. Uh, Fewer is taken on the top side there is being attacked the most, so I know to defend her. Especially with the repelling side, so it does damage to both of the enemies. Ooh. I'm so glad that I have the bard to make up for all of my misses, because, like, woof. Ooh, that said, glowing this turn is going to be great. Glow is also deeply important. I... I... <laughs> I shouldn't be here. <laughs> this deep in the game? I shouldn't be alive anymore. Two more damage to that barrel and I will lose both of these slimers at the same time. If I'm entirely honest, I don't think I want to spawn the additional units right now. Because then they just attack next turn, whereas if I kill the barrel next turn... I can avoid any, uh... The, the slimelets both having generated their attacks already. Yeah, see, we're way better off doing... That. Taking them all out at the same time. Still get Slimer down, thankfully. Now we just have these two Slimelets remaining. I got some part of the puzzle to finish this off. And I'm missing the rest. That's okay, though. Slime little run. And we've, uh... Alu and Prunes. Prunes, unfortunately, is not going to roll a good enough side consistently enough. The Alu? You have a really good side, and then you got some other ones that are also there. They are just there. I'm going to take the random tier two. I regret it deeply, because we got the Kuipa. Kuipa? The Kuipa has, uh... The Kuipa is gonna blow up my Minecraft house. And, uh, it's got shield 2 repel and shield 1 repel on another side. That's not good for us, buddy. That's bad. <laughs> That's what we call a problem. Because the Gladiator has a self-shield side, we have the ability to keep their self-gotten goods. All targets are unique this turn, rudely said I can make the militia flee by shielding the bard up to a total of five the militia gets terrified and runs away I mean I'd really love the gladiator to use two damage this turn I'm just gonna lock it in despite the fact that it's not the two damage self shield side I gotta remember to not be picky in this mode
I don't think I should generate that much mana. I don't think I have any use for mana right now. <laughs> That's so much damage I was taking my characters just so I could, what, glow 50 times? Abacus and Syringe. That's cantrip to all sides of that two or fewer heroes. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't roll, so cantrip's not good for me. Abacus, shift my row across by one. That would give me the ability to use the Citrine Ring again. So, sure, there we go. Boom, shield two cantrip. Got him. Three illusions, a slate, and a blind enemy. seems like the kind of turn where I can just... Wait. Yeah, I'd like to have three mana going into that. No, I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. Just protect uh, the Forsaken against the incoming Petrify. Line will run away because no one's being dealt damage. And then I've just got three illusions and a slate that I have to take care of. And that'll have to do. All the targets on the Koopa, Kweeper rather, and the Bard. Two of the illusions down, did one damage to the slate, feeling reasonably good about that. I'm really surprised with how often the Kweeper has been actually doing stuff. Let's glow and keep that gladiator alive, and then the slate runs away. We can have the me stick, or we can have the gladiator! The Gladiator! Four damage engage, buddy! I gotta say, the rest of your sides do not hold this trend. You've got a four damage self shield, that's great too. Two damage self shield, fine. One damage self shield, huh? One shield, blank. Ooh, Mystic, you have a great spell though. Heal three mana gain and three mana. Those are the only two signs. <laughs> Two-thirds of the turn, Mystic does nothing, but the spell, heal and shield three for two mana. That's huge. I'm gonna take the uh, Gladiator though, because I have to. It's eight damage, if it rolls correctly on the first turn. It did. <laughs> it's eight damage. So good. Um. Yeah, Bard's the only one being directly targeted this time. Surprisingly good turn for us right there. Do I glow? Or do I else? I think I glow now so that I can else later. And the reason for that is because else is shield, but glow is heal and shield. So I want to be healing and shielding to get the most effect out of that at the same time. Hmm. 
not our best turn. This is definitely one for the glows, though. And of course the enemy takes themselves out that turn, so how sad can I really be? There goes the imp. Change of heart. Heal for a thousand total unlocks an item change of heart. Replace heal and self-heal sites with basic shield sites, replacing their original pips and other keywords. Red flag, I've never actually taken this before. Red flag, plus three max HP. Replace the middle side with redirect all damage and all enemy effects from an ally to me. Cleave. There's also the Obol. Adds Death Wish to the two right sides, times two to the effect if you are dying this turn. I'm gonna take the red flag, and I'm gonna put the red flag on the Queeper. Get him, Queeper. Oh, I'd love to take out the zombie on turn one. Gladiator, do you have that in it? You do not. That's okay, the Queeper does manage to defend themselves appropriately, and then I'll be able to else as well. The only bad thing here is I'm generating a, a bones, and I'm taking some poison and a lot of damage, and getting nothing out of it. So that's going to be... Oh boy. Oh boy. <sighs> Alright, the Queeper has uh, now one health at the end of all of this. Well done, Queeper. You've taken all of the damage off of all of the other targets on the field. Uh, the enemy now has another Bones, and my Queeper is almost dead. Thank you. Goodbye, zombie. You needed to die. The Queeper is gonna die this turn. Let's just let's just say that. Queeper is gonna die. There's just too much poison and no much heal. Queeper die. How much mana do I really need though? Ugh, I can't wait if I did. Can I like survive this? No, that's not survivable. None of this is survivable. Oh boy. Burst really would have been helpful. I managed to get a whole load of mana out of that. That's great. Um, I won't be winning the fight as the Gladiator uh, gleefully ignored any managed enemy strategy for the fight and as it turns out uh you need to do that <laughs> oh god ah can i get that one alive well 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 i can tell you this one's going the same way of the dodo I I think I succeeded one time on no rerolls needed, and I forgot that it's actually really hard. Because sometimes you don't damage. I also probably should have considered the fact that with only one yellow class, my damage was going to be the primary lacking thing. Obviously, we're a defensive thing, uh, which means that not having burst, not having a primary source of actually dealing the damage really was going to hurt me. I did have a lot of survivability. I didn't have a lot of um, enemy not survivability. Kill potential. Murder experience. You know, th th things in that realm. Oh, Gladiator, nice to see you've turned up to play this time. Oh my god, the bones give shield to everything before they do their damage, so they're not even capable of taking out the grave. I was always gonna die here. Here, boy.
Goodbye, Gluteator. You know what? You went out with a bang. Well done, buddy. You took out the ghost. You're one hell of a buster. Alternate unfair ends at fight 9 of 20. I have underestimated you, alternate unfair. Perhaps alternate goes back to hard for us for the moment, especially because we do have the, the point by system, the complex point by system now. Maybe there's a lot more play in that in the future. For the moment though, my name has been Rhapsody. Name of the game has been Slice and Dice. Top left has been the series playlist for all my content on the Game Pass for the future. Top right is where you can possibly support the Republic of Patron. Uh, such folks doing so in the fourth wall, uh, such as someone named Sean. Special thanks to someone named Sean. Hopefully you all have been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you all next time.